Let's learn a little bit more about area. Area is the amount of flat space contained within a given shape. Area can be found by filling up the shape with unit squares and counting how many you need to entirely fill the shape. So let's take a look at this rectangle I have here down below. Each square represents one unit of area. Now it depends on what these units are. Let's just say that each of these squares is made up of one centimeter side. So it's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. Now this is a one centimeter square. Because area is a measurement of the length and the width, right? Because you have length and width, right? And I'm just going to abbreviate that. You always use square units. So I'm just going to write units squared. And that's because this little two up here, this squared symbol, represents that area is a measurement of two different dimensions, length and width. So if you have centimeters as your units, then when you take the area, you have centimeters squared. If your units were meters, you would have meters squared. Now let's talk about how we would find the area of this rectangle here that I've drawn. Now let's just go with the fact that these are centimeter squares, so that's our unit. Now what you can do with area of a, a rectangle like this is you can go through and you can count all the unit squares or you can use multiplication. For a rectangle, you multiply the length by the width to find the area. In this figure here, the length is the number of rows. So let's count how many rows there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's our length. And remember, we said that these are centimeter squares, so you've got six centimeters of length. Now the width is how many are in each row, and we can count that here. One, two, three, four. Four in each row. So we'd multiply six centimeters by four centimeters to get the area. Now to multiply, you can use your times tables, or you can use repeated addition. Since each row has four squares in it, you can use repeated addition of adding four to itself six times, because there are four rows, right? So you'd have four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. When you add all this together, you get a total of 24. And because this is in um, the units of centimeters, and now we're talking about area, you would have 24 centimeters squared. You get the same thing. If you know your times tables, you have 6 centimeters times 4 centimeters, and 6 times 4 is 24, and the units here would be centimeters squared. In this lesson, you've learned how to find the area of a rectangle using the appropriate units. Thanks for watching.